Everyman Driver Nation, three words, San Marino Red. Oh, yeah. Here it is, just arrived at the Everman Driver Headquarters, a 2016 Honda Accord. This is a two-door EXL trim level. We are looking at a 3.5 liter V6, 278 horsepower, made it to a six-speed manual transmission. So there is a possibility, I'm not guaranteeing it though, a possibility of a zero to 60 test. And we are rolling on 18 inch alloy wheels. You have three options here on the key fob, lock, unlock, and also the trunk. And I have not opened this car. I have not been in it. It is right where the driver left it. And so this is all gonna be first time, first impressions. I don't know what I'm more excited about, the fact that it's a six speed manual or this awesome color, which happens to be matching my shirt today. So I have it locked, put the key fob in my pocket. This should be a push button here. Push this open. That must have locked it. Push it again. No, no, oh, I know hand in you know i'd figure this out by now i just got done doing the honda odyssey and that's how you open it so it's a honda deal oh my god i'm the everman driver okay inside well the driver was right low before they dropped it off let's get in the right position turn it on and uh oh i love that new car smell all right one touch start Nice little purr to it. Double screen. If it's anything like our last vehicle. Oh, this is nice. Look at the detail up here. Oh, that's new. That looks like it's probably a seven inch screen on top and a seven inch down below. This is beautiful. Oh my goodness. I haven't seen this uh, color scheme before. This looks really nice. Touch screen here. Jazz, come on. Stereo works. Let's turn it down real quick. Same with the fan. All right. Boy, I am really impressed with this double screen. This is gorgeous. Now, this is how you do a double screen. Oh my God. I love it. Climate controls down below, naturally. Instrument cluster. This vehicle only has 356 miles on it. So we are probably the first journalist here in Washington from our fleet services to get the car. Usual, standard that you'd normally see on an Accord here in the instrument cluster. No surprises there. Ecom button over here. Steering wheel mounted controls as usual. Bluetooth, cruise control. Options here to change the top screen. The source here, where's that go? Oh, same thing source down here you've got heated seats for the driver and the passenger there's your six speed manual transmission exl trim level looking good what's in here just lift it up and you do have a usb port right there for your smartphone or also your other devices cup holders in the side door panel nice stitching speaker over there which also oh this is probably going to happen yes we have a lane watch option we can push this button or turn it to uh, uh to activate the camera right there which we will boom press it there it is lane watch right below that side mirror cool this also has a one touch sliding sunroof is that right did i do it right there we go Hey, what's going on? Close it up. Glass holder, lights. Looks good. Let's take a look in the uh, the back seat. Two door, so it might be a little challenging to get in the back seat. Let's find out. Before we climb in the back, we've got some adjustability for the seat up and down, forward and back. This uh, for the backrest. Lumbar support right here, which is in this section right there. Okay, got a handle right here. This is probably gonna be our way to get back. And then, well, I think it's slide forward, but I guess it doesn't. All right, here we go. Uh, 
Now I did adjust the front seat for my position uh, right before I closed the door. Okay. There's your leg room for a guy who's 5'11". That's pretty good. That works for me. Um, I prefer to be in the front seat, but if I had to sit in the back seat, this would be okay for a guy my size. Some spots over here for some storage. Headroom. Glass is right here. I can... Okay, that's, that's where I hit the glass, and I lift up now. Head. Glass. Glass. Lump on my head. So... You know, hey, I'm still leaning back, so I'm, I'm pretty comfortable right here. There is no fold-down armrest, which uh, I guess maybe in a coupe they don't, they're not going to have one. There's a spot here for some storage. Nothing right there. Storage over here. This works. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at uh, the cargo room and trunk space. Now, this is where the key comes into play. This is a really good-looking back end. Take a look at that. Oh, that's sexy, isn't it? That's real, and double exhaust, V6, cool tail lights, huh? All right, let's go ahead and just hold this. That looks pretty deep. It's probably in the, uh, the teens in terms of cargo volume. And there is a button right here, a tab, that will allow me to fold down that entire bench seat for some more cargo volume. Under here might be a spare tire. It is. Okay, cool. Oh, by the way, you can also open the trunk lid, which I just discovered. There's a little black button right here. That opens it too, assuming you have the key fob on you. Well, the MSRP on this 2016 Honda Accord two-door EXL is just under $31,000. Fuel economy numbers are 18 city, 28 highway. I will be driving this vehicle to Seattle next week for our annual Run to the Sun event. Uh, I hope to do a team review with Melissa this coming week, probably on Monday or Tuesday. But if you have any special suggestions on what you want us to cover in this car, maybe I'll do a 0-60 to 60 if there's enough requests for it. Uh, but let me know in the comment section below. Until next time, I'm Dave Erickson. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.